Hello, the Fukui Ishibashi model in simulation and modeling is a movement rule for a cellular automaton. You should know what a cellular automaton is. And it is based on the rule 100, 184. You should also know what the rule 184 is. Let's say these are our cells for this video and we want to see how cars are moving. Every one is a car. Let's say we have two cars on our street and every zero is an empty space on our street. And let's review a little bit for rule 184 that said that we can at max move one field forward, one cell forward in case that cell is empty. And now the Fukui Shibashi model says, well, we don't, we don't care about this one field. We can go as far as we want. Take this with a grain of salt for now. I will explain more. So that means that this one can actually, let's go here, can actually travel until here, right in front of this one and this one can actually travel until here so we have the new if this is time zero and this is time one then we have zero 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 and the one traveled until here and this one traveled until here and this is how our cells look like at time one this is almost it but we have one extra rule for the Fukui Shibashi model and that is we have actually a maximum speed that we can set so we can move until we reach a car in front of us, until we reach a zero, uh, sorry, a one in front of us, but we can at max move, for example, let's say two fields. That means for us that we have to correct our time one selves because we can only move two fields at most. So we can only move until here. Even though this is empty, we can only move until here. And this one can only move until here. So let's correct this one. This is still a zero. This becomes a one. This becomes a zero and this becomes a one. And of course, in the next round, this goes here and this goes until here. And well, that's everything about the Fukui Shibashi model. But make sure to not have missed the point that we're like kind of not really driving. We're not accelerating and decelerating. We're like jumping, basically. We're jumping from here, jump to here, from here, jump to here. We don't really reach this part in the middle. There's just time zero and time one and there's nothing in between so we, so we basically jump. And if you say well this is not really good for cars because cars have acceleration and deceleration then you should check out the Nagel Schreckenberg model. This model will take acceleration and deceleration into account.